Hey guys, Scott with Flip and Customize. Welcome to another episode. And today we are taking the shop truck, the Rat Rod square body shop truck to the next level. And what, I, what do I mean by that is you're gonna have to stay tuned and find out. Um, we often get classified into the uh, special interest that shows because of its rat rod theme and the keg in the back and the flatbed and not really knowing where to put it and not really fitting in the truck class. Um, so today we're gonna make it so it does fit in special interest, at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, so come along with us. We're going for a ride to pick up something that we're going to modify and get on this truck that's going to change the look completely. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. Help us grow and come along. Let's do this. Time to get this bad boy fitted up to that bad boy. You got it. Tow rig. Here we come. All right. Plasma cutter is getting a workout. This is 3-8 shit. It's about the max for our little uh, northern tool. Cut 40. But this about there. Damn. Nothing a plasma cutter and a big hammer can't fix. Whew. Note to self, always pay attention where your ground is when a big piece of metal is going to fall off and basically shear it right in half. I'm not going to lie, this little northern cool plasma right now, I mean, that's pretty quite steel. If they're cut 40, left running off 220, one northern cool, I'm very apologize. That's Jag. I like this little thing. Nothing sketchy to see here. <laughs> we got this. Well, this is the way you do when you're working by yourself. You just uh, hope for the best. You don't run anything or anyone over or yourself over. But that ain't too freaking bad, I gotta say. All right, got us some old like quarter inch body panel uh, filler on a truck from LMC that I had that we're going to use um, as spaces underneath here so we don't beat up our oak wood deck. Actually drilling the mounting holes with this antique Craftsman drill I have got from my grandfather many, 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 many years ago. Handle's been welded, but you know what? It works the balls and it's not the safest thing in the world. You can see sparks flying, but I refuse to get rid of it. Now that's what I'm talking about, keeping the rat rod theme. We got our jack and our coat. Almost done. All right, check this out. Just went to see my friend Mario for the hook, for the uh, special piece tow rig for the shop truck. And to put this in perspective, the size of this thing, it's freaking huge. This is gonna be badass. <laughs> All right, crane hook, uh, massive crane hook going on tow truck. So we attached our old chain, and I actually want the chain to show instead of the cable. So we're gonna attach the cable with these to the old chain, and then winch it in. We're gonna do it that way. All right, we got our hook dummy mounted right now. And I think I did this right. An old rigger once told me, never saddle a dead horse. So I'm sure someone will point out if I did it wrong. Let's winch it in. There she be. Crane hook is mounted. And it weighs like, I don't know, 50 pounds. <laughs> it's a wrecking ball back here. And it's on the chain, cable to the chain. So that looks pretty sweet. Boy, that old hook could tell some stories. Like I said, I got it from my friend Mario. Hooked us up with this whole setup. So liking it, really liking it. There it is. Wrecker boom, complete, installed on the rat rod square body shop truck check that out it came out badass of course we had to keep the rat rod team going with some barbed wire our old rusty uh skeleton hands holding our jack and our coke an old period correct license plate 
And my friend Mario hooked us up with a badass hook on this thing. There should be. Let me know what you all think. We are happy with it. Oh, 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 oh,